This golden jackpot counter is the machine's most prized possession. Can one of today's players get their hands on it and win £10,000? We're about to find out on Tippy Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Graham, a retired civil servant from Dumfries and Galloway. I'm Harleen, a personal banker from Essex. And I'm Gary, a primary school teacher from Northern Ireland. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it doubles the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Keep your hands on your buzzers, it comes to your first question. In the 2003 Christmas film Elf, which actor plays Buddy? Gary. Will Ferrell. A human who was adopted and raised by Santa's elves. You're absolutely right, it is Will Ferrell. Gary, would you like to play or pass the first counter? I don't think the machine's quite ready yet, Ben, so I think I'm going to pass to Graham. Right, Graham. Thank you, Guy. Let's <laughs> see if we can make this one pay. Where do you want to go? I'll go for drop zone one, please. Let's have drop zone one. <laughs> Settles over on that right-hand side. Dull prizes in drop zone one. Two mysteries. Not sure we'll get at either of them, but can we get you some money? That double's going to slide alongside this. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, Graham, yeah. with the first counter. Never easy, so £100. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark and you've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. Gully and square leg are both fielding. Graham. Cricket. Fielding positions in which bat and ball sport? Yes, cricket. Would you like to play or pass? Uh, I think I'll pass the Gary. Right, Gary. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's see what you can do. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go for drop zone one, please, Ben. Drop zone one it is. <laughs> that was a long stays on its edge. So, Graham got two counters with your pass. What could he get with his pass here, Gary? Anything over the top shelf? Yeah, there we go. Oh, they've separated as well. This could Here be good. He's good. Four counters. Thank you. 200 pounds. So the idea of passing is they don't get anything. You've, yeah. I'm, not sure you've, I'm not sure you've both got that right yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the 200 pounds and put it into your bank, Gary. You're off the mark and you've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. Which alcoholic spirit often served with tonic is the base ingredient in the original Gary? Gin. Original Pim's number one cup. It is gin, yes. Right, you're going to play, Gary, or are you going to pass? I'm going to play, Ben. OK, where are we going? I'm going to stick with drops on one. One again, please. Mystery's getting close to the bottom. Ooh, might not get at that, but if we get it flat, it could do some damage to the tipping flat. points. It is flat, yep. OK. Come on, then. Good squeeze here, Gary. Yeah, a couple over the top. Is the bottom going to go? It's a bit sparse. It's a bit sparse. But five will do, won't it? Two hundred fifty pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. It's going to put you on four hundred and fifty pounds with one okay. counter still to play. Okay. Here's your next question. Why just remember Lincoln is a mnemonic used to remember the order of the U.S. presidents carved into the rock of which monument in South Dakota? Harleen. Mount Rushmore. It is Mount Rushmore. Yes, Harleen. Right, would you like to play, Harleen? You've been waiting patiently, or would you like the boys to carry on fighting it out? <laughs> can I please go for a drop zone, too? Of course you can. Two up, Harleen. Go, good settle. Ooh, can move this mystery down. Yeah, there we go. And another one. 
Anything across the tipping point for you, Harley? Oh, no, you draw a blank with your first count. That looks very appetising now, though, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Sadly, nothing for you, though. You've got two left to play. Next question. The 2020 UK number one album, Live Around the World, is by Adam Lambert and which legendary British... Gary. Queen. Legendary British rock band. It is Queen, yes. You going to play your last count, Gary? Yes, I'm going to play it, Ben. Where are we going? I think I'll go with Drop Zone 2. OK, let's have Drop Zone 2, please. Busy drop. It's flat. It is flat. Anything coming over the top for you there? Yep. Oh, they've separated nicely. What can we finish? Oh, give me something. Very nice finish, Gary. Well done. Well done. Thank wow. you. Eight counters for you there. £400. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on a very good score of £850, Gary. All three counters have been used now, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Graham, you've got two counters left, and Harleen, you've got two counters as well. Here's the next question for the two of you. Which type of wild feline found mostly in Africa is the only species of big cat that lives in groups? Graham. Lion. Lion is right. Yes, Graham. Would you like to play or pass? I think I'll play for drop zone two, please. Okay, let's have two for Graham. Double's getting close, isn't it? And there's a little overhang there. A mystery on the bottom shelf. A lot going on here. Wicked drop over on the right. What do you think, Graham? Don't know if anything will go over the top. Just. There's a couple that might go. Yeah. And they do. Well done. Four feed into the wind zone. £200. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank. It's going to put you on £300 with one counter still to play. Next question for Graham and for Harleen. According to the children's rhyme, this little piggy, what meat did the third little piggy eat? Harleen. Roast beef. Roast beef, yes. It took you a while to get through it. Yeah, I was, I was saying it. I was like, oh, this way again, roast beef, there's something well. then. Yeah. It was roast beef. Now, would you like to play, Harleen, or would you like Graham to play his last counter? Graham, I'm sorry. Could Graham play his last counter, please? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Graham, put All it into right. bat with your last one. Where do you want to go? I'll go for drop zone two again, please, Drop ben. zone two it is. Tipping points looking a little bit sparse. Harleen's hoping you'll change that, but can you do more and get something out? Going to move the mystery forward. Is this a good pass? Yes, it is a good pass. Look at that. Very nicely done, Harleen. Sorry about that, Graham. Nothing comes out. You've just poised them on the edge, as it were. That's all three of your counters used. You have £300 for the time being you are out. Right, Harleen, it's just you. Don't need your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to both of these questions to put the counters into the machine. Okay. Here's your first one. Created by filmmaker and chef Andrew Ray, Babish Culinary Universe is a cooking channel on which major online video sharing service? YouTube. Harleen, I'm so sorry. It is YouTube, but you've only got three seconds to answer okay. and you were just out of time, so we can't give you that counter. That's going into the penalty pot. Okay. You'll get a chance to win it back at the end of the round and the boys will be playing for that as well. Okay. You've got one more counter to put in here. Okay. Again, you've got to give me the correct answer. Don't forget, you've only got three seconds to give me your answer. Okay. Here we go. Call Me Ishmael is the opening line in the first chapter of which 1851 Herman Melville novel? Moby Dick. It is Moby Dick, <laughs> yes. Oh, Harley, I thought you were going to spend three seconds thinking uh -huh. about it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put this counter into the machine and see what we can do. Where do you want to go? Two again, please. Drop zone two, please. Double so close. The mystery's not far. Drops down. Can we get some lateral on it? Are we going to get any over the top? Come on. Yes, separate. Is the double going to go for you, Harleen? It's going to get close. It's going to get close. Yes, it does. Okay. Well done. Well Thank done. you. <laughs> Thank you. Seven counters for you, Harleen, which is £350. But, of course, we can double it up and give you another £350. What a telling drop that could be. 700 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. Thank you. And that means, as things stand, Gary has £850. Harleen is now in second with £700. Graham has £300. But it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot, so I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right, Graham, suddenly you find yourself in last place. Yeah. You can really do with give me the correct answer to have another chance to get some money here. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word dangerous? Graham. Four. There are four, yes. D-A-N-G-E-R-O-U-S. Nicely done, Graham. <laughs>
We could do with a dangerous drop here, Graham, to try and close this gap. Mm. Eight counters to catch Harleen. Where are you thinking of going? None of them look terribly on the edge, but mm. I'll go for drop zone three, please. OK, we're going to change and go for three, please. Right, then, let's see what we can do. Eight counters to catch Harleen. It's not been used, drop zone three. OK, a bit central for this one. Could be good if we get something over the top shelf. Which we do. They just skid and slide up. Can we get anything out here? Oh, sadly not. Not always easy to start a new drop zone. They look better now, but nothing's going to change. So the score stays. They were at the end of the round. Gary is leading with £850. Harleen is in second with £700. Graham is in third with £300. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Graham, Harleen and Gary are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Gary, you are leading after round one, so you can choose. Would you like to play first? Would you like to ask Graham or Harleen to play? I'd like to play first, please, okay. Ben. 45 seconds for you, Gary. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Gary, please. Your time starts now. According to the common saying, if you ask a silly question, you'll get a silly what? Answer. Correct. The Two Fridas is an oil painting by which female Mexican artist? Pass. Frida Kahlo. A tympanostomy tube is used in a common surgical procedure to improve which of the senses? Taste. Hearing. Released in 2021, the single Anywhere Away From Here is a collaboration between Rag and Bone Man and which US pop star? Pass. Pink. Walker's Quavers potato snacks that are sold in a yellow packet are described as being the flavour of which dairy product? Cheese. Correct. In the 2020 animated Netflix film A Whisker Away, the character Mio has the ability to transform into which animal? Mice. A cat. Which city is the capital of the state of South Australia? Adelaide. Gary Adelaide. Two correct answers. Just the two, I'm afraid. But you did know that quavers are cheese flavoured, which I think is <laughs> I knew that one. probably <laughs> important. Yeah. Uh, right, we've got two counts put into the machine to try and extend your lead, Gary. So where would you like to go? I'm going to go for a drop zone three, please, Ben. OK, let's have three. Not messing around. Gary's left. Graham's left a few on the edge. Right. Is that going to be flat or Hope is so. it going to catch Graham's counter? Oh, it's flat, yeah. OK. It's flat. That might shift the double forward a touch. Are we going to get enough to get over the top shelf, though? Not quite, no, not quite. We haven't got very many either to play with here, Gary. One more to go in. I'll stick with drops on three, please. Three again. Oh, a little ghost drop for you. Now, that could work nicely with a little nudge. Nearly a double shove, but stayed where it is. That should bring it down with the double as well. Come on. And a few more. Couple over. Spread wide for you. Let's go. Just the two that drop in, I'm afraid, Gary. Not as many as I'm sure you'd have liked. No. But let's take £100 and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £950. Right then, Harleen, you are ahead of Graham, so it's your choice. Okay. You could play next or you could ask Graham to play. Please, can I play then? Of course you can. OK. 45 seconds for Harleen, please. Your time starts now. How many colours feature on a standard set of UK traffic lights? Three. Correct. The two main gases that are involved in the human body's respiratory system are oxygen and which other? Pass. Carbon dioxide. Which animal in the story of the Chinese zodiac came first in the race across the river? Turtle. The rat. Which British comedy actor has played characters called Paul Calf, Tommy Saxondale and Tony Farina? Pass. Steve Coogan. The Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea is located in which UK capital city? London. Correct. Brig is an abbreviated term for which senior British army rank? Brigadier. Correct. A fish called Cleo is a character in which animated 1940 Disney feature film? Pass. Pinocchio. The guitarist Dave Kuning was a founding member of which UK chart-topping American rock band? Pass. No, the killers. the killers. It was the killers. You got three right, Harleen. Okay. So one more than Gary. Let's see if you can get a bit more money out of the machine. If you can get five counters from the machine, then you'll catch him. If you can get six, you'll take the lead and you'll be going through okay. to the head-to-head. -head. So, where do you fancy starting? Drop zone three, please. OK, let's have drop zone three. Oh, 
whizzes around and settles nicely. That could be good. Right on the double as well. Coming forward, going to pick up some of the counters that Gary left there. Oh, two of them drop in. Close the gap by a fraction. £100 for those two there, Harleen. Two more to go in. Staying with drop zone three? Uh, yes, please, Ben. Drop zone three again, please. That wasn't a bad position with that last one. It's just the tipping point wasn't quite ready. Will it be better this time? It's moved its way over to the left. Is that too far left? A bit too far, I think. It is flat, though. Might split these. Are we going to get enough? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. Anything going here? Oh, still not. <laughs> still not. Don't want to go. Don't Gary go. is clinging on by his fingernails right now, <laughs> Harleen. We still need to get three counts to catch him. One more to go in. Can I stick with drops on three, please? Drops on three again. Come on, Harleen. Settles nicely. Come on, get that black counter over. Yes. Is this going to be the drop that unlocks the tipping point? Oh, yes. Ooh, there you go. That'll do it. Great. Okay. Well <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. Ten more across the tipping point. Much more like it, Harleen. £500 that we add in takes you to 600 in total. Let's put that in your bank. That's going to put you through £1,300. Right, Graham. <laughs> we come to you. Great chance for you here. 45 seconds for Graham, please. Your time starts now. Typically worn by women, which hairstyle shares its name with a shortened form of the boy's name, Robert? Bob. Correct. The Merseyside venue, Goodison Park, is predominantly used for Everton. Which? Football. A type of in-ear headphone, Galaxy Buds, are made by which South Korean technology company? Us. Samsung. Co-owned by Dolly Parton, Dollywood is a theme park located in which US state? Mm, Tennessee. Correct. In the Harry Potter series, which limbless reptile known to produce venom features on the crest of Slytherin House? Us. Snake. Sue Cleaver plays Eileen Grimshaw in which long-running ITV... Coronation Street. Correct. Along with butter and white wine, which vegetable is a principal ingredient of a typical Leonese sauce? Pass. Onion. In opera, which Australian soprano singer was famously known as La Stupenda? Did you know La Stupenda? No. It was Joan Sutherland. Graham, three correct answers. If you just wait, Graham, the Merseyside venue, yes. Goodison Park, is predominantly used for which ball sport? Football. Football. <laughs> you did jump in and got your Coronation Street question. Sue Cleaver plays Eileen Grimshaw in which long-running ITV soap opera? It is Coronation Street. Here's your challenge, though. OK. If you can get 13 counters out, you will catch Gary. There is a double not far off the tipping point. There's a couple of mystery prizes on the edge as well, so it depends what you feel like your tactics could be. The mystery prize is quite tempting, but I think it's close enough I'll have to go for drop zone three. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone three, please. <laughs> busy drop, really busy. Bit of a gap there. Yeah. Might take that little stack through. It does, those two peel off. Not quite close enough to the double, but that's okay because you want to shift a few forward. One in, two more to go. Staying with three, Graham? Drop on three, please. Three yes. again, please. Bit further right would be good, wouldn't it? Bit further right. Get it settled, settled, settled. Oh, just <laughs> heart in mouth time there. Is that silver one going to get over? Oh, yes. Double's going to get closer. It's going to get closer. Oh, it's going to go in. Three counters across the tipping point. £150. The double dropped as well, so we can give you another £150. Up to £300 in the machine. Got one more to put in. Now we need seven. I can't see me getting seven from any of them, really, at the moment. So I'll, I'll go for two and hope for the best. Let's see what happens, OK. Drop zone two, please. Settles flat. That could be close enough. If that silver one comes through, can we get enough lateral to get seven out of the machine? The mystery's going to get close. Oh, 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 oh look at that, Graham. Oh, one more question. I'll never forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, it's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. You battled really hard, but let's take that £300 and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Harleen is leading with £1,300. Gary has snuck through somehow with £950. Graham, you really gave it a good shot, but I'm yeah. afraid with £600 we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you.
So it's Harleen and Gary who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, for your chance, win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Two tipping point. We have just two players remaining, Harleen and Gary. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. So in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you could pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put a counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for the jackpot. As you are leading, Harleen, you get to choose. Would you like the first question? Would you like to offer it to Gary? Uh, can I take the first question, please, Of course you can. Here we go. Which EastEnders character has been married to women named Cindy, Mel, Laura, Jane and Sharon? Um, I haven't watched EastEnders for a while, but I'd like to play, and I you think it's... Play. Yes, please. And I think it's Phil Mitchell. So you're going to go with Phil Mitchell? Yes, please. OK. Gary, do you watch EastEnders ever? I do, and I would have went with Phil Mitchell as well. You might have gone Phil Mitchell too. Let's see if you're right then, Harleen, if you are. It's a great first answer. We're looking for an EastEnders character, married to women named Cindy, Mel, Laura, Jane and Sharon. Been busy, hasn't he? <laughs> really busy, yeah. Was it Phil Mitchell? It's not. Oh. It's Ian Beale. Oh. Ian Beale. Oh, OK. Phil Mitchell married Sharon, of course, but he didn't marry the others. It's oh. Ian that married Cindy, Mel, Laura, Jane and Sharon. So, sadly, Harleen, you were wrong there. I was. Gary, you get the counter. Where should we go? I'm going to go for drop zone three, please, Ben. Right, let's hit three. Oh, oh, look at that plummet drop on the end there, Gary. Brings it down and could be a nice place because they're gathering between two and three, aren't they? Yeah, let's get something over. Oh, oh, what a great steal that is. Six counters for you, Gary. £300. I mean, take it from the machine and put it into a bank. We'll see what that's done to the score. There's now just £50 between you. Harleen just in the lead, but, Gary, you keep control. Time for your first question. Founded to promote ecotourism, Travelist was launched in 2019 by which member of the royal family? You can play or pass this. I don't know a lot about the royal family, Ben, so I think I'm going to pass. OK, Harleen, we could do with stealing this back now. I really don't know. Um, I'm going to have to hazard a guess. Um, it's either, I'm guessing between Prince Harry and Prince William. Prince William. You going with William? I am. OK, Gary. Sounds like I could be right, yeah. Could be right. Let's see, Harleen. It'd be great if you are. Is the answer Prince William? It's the other one. Harry? It was Prince Harry. Harleen, I'm sorry. That's OK. So, Gary, good pass in the end. Harleen was wrong. Chance to try and close the gap further, even take the lead. Where should we go? I'm going to change my drop zone this time, Ben, and I'm going to go for drop zone four. You've not used it yet. Let's have four, please. Just reversed is on you. Now, Let's get it flat first. Gonna get any action here? Or are you just gonna set it up for Harleen? We need something out, ideally, just to take the lead, put a bit of pressure on. There's a couple off the top. Mm, but nothing over the bottom there, Gary. So, Harleen, we come back to you. Time for your second question. What name is given to the powdered form of green tea it's prepared and presented during a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. You can pass this to Gary if you're not sure. I have an inkling. Do you go for it or do you pass? I'm going to pass. Passing it over. Gary, are you into your tea? I am, but just British tea. I don't try any of the other ones, Ben, so... What do you reckon? Think of anything? Sugar. Sugar, <laughs> Sugar what was your inkling, Harleen? Matcha. 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 Does that ring any bells, Gary? You've heard of matcha? No, Ben. No. Let's see. So, Gary's pretty sure he's wrong. Is it sugar? 
No, no. It is matcha, it actually. Is, okay. <laughs> yeah, but fortunately, Gary didn't know, so you passed this time and it's paid off. Where should we put this counter? Drop some four, please. Let's have four. Here we go. Right, hard on the right. Can we get anything over the top shelf? There's a couple. And anything across the bottom to extend your lead? Yes. Three counters, Harleen, £150. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. Just extend your lead, you creep further away on £1,450. Gary, back to you. Time for your second question. Between 2011 and 2017, which politician served as Attorney General for the US state of California? I don't know a lot about politics, Ben, but I know that Harleen is from Canada, so she may know the answer. I'm going to go for Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're going to go for Arnie? Yeah. OK. Harleen, if Gary passed this over, what might you have said? Arnold Schwarzenegger. You might have gone Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. as well. He was definitely the governor of California, but was he eternal oh. general of California? Okay. Let's see. Was it Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, it wasn't. It was Kamala Harris. Oh, of course. Of course, yes. Of yes. course it was. Yeah. Distracted by Arnie. He is very distracting. It's a good try, Gary. He certainly has had a political position in California, and I know that you didn't want to pass it to Harleen just in case, yeah. but it didn't pay off because you were wrong. So, Harleen, you get another counter here. Where should we put it? Drop some four, please, Ben. Let's go more action for four. <laughs> really heavy finish. Yeah. Can that silver counter slide off here? Yeah, there you go. Oh. A couple in the middle. Well done. Is this going to extend your lead? It is very nicely. What a time to steal. Back. Eight counters there for you, Harleen. £400, very timely. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It puts you on £1,850. You keep control as well. Time for your third and final question. Along with Lion, which is the only other animal to feature in the title of a book in the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis? You can pass it if you're not sure. To a primary school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know what, I'm going to have to, because I really... I, it's, I'm drawing a blank, so I'm going to have to pass. OK. Gary, do you read these books? I have, but I've only read the first one. Oh. This doesn't really help, Ben. The only animal that spring into mind is... Tiger. Tiger? Tiger. OK, maybe it could be a tiger. Harleen, do you know any of the other books? Just for some reason, Owl, but I don't know where Owl came from. Owl, so. you're not sure where that's come <laughs> from. Let's see, Gary. You know the Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, not the others. Is the answer Tiger? No, it's a horse. The horse and his boy is the third book in the series. Uh, so, Harleen, you get another one here, because Gary sadly was wrong. Where should we put it? I'm going to change up, um, see if I can get something on the mystery counter. So, drop zone two, please. Let's have two. <laughs> yeah, nice and central. If it's flat, that could be good. Hopefully. Is it going to be flat? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Not flat. You got yourself a rider. Could we get a little squeeze on that black counter? Come on. Never know. Oh, my goodness. A little, <laughs> but not enough. Not enough. Right, Gary, back to you for one last question. Voted BBC Radio 2's all-time favourite song from a musical in a 2021 poll. One Day More is from which stage show? Did fall in the end, that counter, Harleen. You were out of play, though but it hasn't affected anything. It's just filled the gap on the bottom shelf. Let's go back to the question, Gary. I know this one, I think, Ben, because I've actually starred in this as, like, Have a you? university production. Yes. Uh, so amazing. I'm hoping it's right. What did you play? I was just in the background. An important An supporting important person in the background, of course. Not just in the background, no. an important part of it. I am going to say Les Miserables. You're going with Les Mis. Harley, what would you have said? Les Miserables. Les Miserables as well. One Day More is from which stage show? Is it Les Miserables? Yes, of course it is. Well done, well done Gary. You. Good answer. All that hard work as a supporting artist pays off <laughs> fine. <laughs> now, we need 12 counters to catch Harleen, which is a pretty tricky challenge, but she did very nicely leave the mystery prize on the tipping point for you. Drops on two, please, Let's man. Let's do it. Up two, please. Mm, come on, be flat. It was a slow drop. A bit of lateral could send it over there. It's very close. It is flat. It's flat. Could we One. get that silver down with enough just to nudge the mystery over? 
Squeeze right a touch. Come on, Squeeze over to right the side. Touch. Yeah, oh, there you go. go. <laughs> well done, Gary. Thank you. Four counts across the tipping point, £200. It's not going to be enough to catch Harleen. That was always going to be a tough ask, but when we put it into your bank, we can see just how hard that is. You did get your hands on the prize, though. Uh, you've won yourself a sunrise balloon flight with champagne for two people, courtesy of Buy a Gift. Thank you very much, Ben. That sounds amazing. A lovely prize to be sending you off with. Sadly, not enough to catch Harleen, which means we're going to lose you, because at the end of the round, Harleen, very well played with £1,850. You are today's winner. Wow, thank Congratulations you. to you. You've played a great game. Gary, you've been a great competitor. It's been brilliant having you here, but I'm afraid with £1,450, we have found your tip point. Of course, you have just won your balloon flight, Gary. I have. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much, Ben. It's a lovely meeting you. Great to meet you. Thank too. you. So, Harleen, in a few moments, as our champion, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one's bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Harleen master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tim Point. Harleen is today's winner has managed to get £1,850. Very well done. Thanks, Ben. Uh, what made you want to apply to come on Tipping Point, Harleen? It was by accident. It was by accident? It was by accident. So, um, big fan, though. Um, <laughs> so, um, Glad we got that sorted. Yeah. So, my daughter's a singer, and I was actually looking to, like, get her on, like, The Voice or... A singing show of some yeah, sort. Yeah. And I was, so I went onto the website and I went, OK, apply now. So, I went to, like... I saw that it was tipping point they could plan, so I want to apply now. And I didn't think anything of it, so I said, oh, that'd be really fun if I could get on. So I um, applied, and a couple of weeks later, I got a phone call. It was just like, somebody called and said, did you apply to me? I said, I guess I did, I did, <laughs> like, you know. But, uh, but that wasn't the reason I went online that day. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and did she ever get an audition for The Voice? Um, I, I never um, did you the never application. Got round yeah. to, you got, did you get distracted by tipping point? <laughs> a little the bit, excitement? a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little bit. Well, goodness me, aren't we chuffed that you did? Because here you are, you've seen off the others. And now you're about to take on the machine for our I jackpot am. today, yeah. Harleen, which would be really thrilling. Uh, how would you spend the money if we were to get the jackpot out, do you think? A really nice family trip to Mauritius. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. That'd be really special. I'm sure the kids would be beside themselves they as well. They would be, I think. Yeah. So they'll be sitting at home, fingers crossed on the sofa right now. Absolutely. Let's see if we can do just that, Harleen. Best of luck. Thank you very much, Ben. Time to find out whether Harleen's going to win our £10,000 jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. Here's how you'll do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. It's as simple as that. So, what are you thinking then, Harleen? Where do you reckon we should put this jackpot counter? They all look great, but I'm thinking drop some four, please, Ben. Let's do it. All right, four, please. Let's see where this ends up then, Harleen. Okay. Rams down. Yeah. Doesn't sneak in, does it? It certainly, no. certainly arrives in style. Makes okay. its presence known. Two counts for you there, £100. For the arrival of the jackpot counter, which is nice and flat towards the right hand side, we're up to 1,950 quid. Right, should we have a look at your subjects? Please. This is what we have for you geography, music, food and drink, nature, sport, and film. You can play them in any order. So where should we start? Can we start at the top, please, with geography? You can. Geography for how many? Um, can we try three, please? Let's do it. Jump for three. Situated in the Adriatic, the island of Havar is a popular tourist destination in which European country? Croatia, Italy or Greece? Croatia, Ben. OK. Have you heard of Havar before? No. Do you know where the Adriatic is? I know to see. Yes, do you know where it is? <laughs> Near a European country uh, where there's an island named Havar. <laughs> yeah, so, ah. <laughs> okay, so your feeling is then maybe if it was Italy or Greece, you might have heard of it. Correct, that's absolutely correct. That is very good reasoning. Yes, I'll find the words for you. Thank you. <laughs> but we're going to go Croatia, please. Let's do Croatia, please. Okay. The island of Var. It's a popular tourist destination. Is it in Croatia? Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Apparently, it gets more hours of sunshine than anywhere else in Croatia. Might not want to go to Mauritius then. No, but go to Var. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't that be lovely? 
three counters. Drop zone four. Please. Far for drop zone four. Far it up. Hit that jackpot counter for us here, Holly. OK. Don't do, don't do, stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there be flat, be please. flat. Tell you, if that goes flat, I quite like it, cos... Please. Oh. Is it riding? Oh, yes. OK. Would have squeezed it over to the side, which yeah. would be nice. Not to worry. OK. Oh. Couple over the top shelf, though. They took a little nudge. Mm. Two more to go. Drop zone four. Please. Light it up. When you're ready. Thank you. Whoa. OK, heavy drop. Yeah. Done on the left-hand side. Nothing there. Okay. One more to go. Drop zone four. Please. Fire it up. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Settle, settle. Oh. Yeah, that's the one. That's great. That is the one. Perfect. Really nice, because it shoved it over towards the edge more, and we've got it to the edge of the top shelf. Perfect. Setting up the bottom shelf, which is round with counters. Good stuff. Right, let's go back to the categories. Next on the list is music. Uh, could we go music for two, Ben? We can. Music for two, please. The 1942 piece written by the American composer Aaron Copland is fanfare for the common what? Man, woman or child? When the question came up, I thought man. So I'd like to go for man, please. So you knew that title already, man was the word you were looking for? I just knew the phrase common man. Yeah. Um, so I assumed it would be that before it came up. Should we do it? Please. We're going with man, please. It was a piece written by Aaron Copeland in 1942. Is it called Fanfare for the Common Man? Yes. It was a speech made by Vice President Henry Wallace, and that inspired him, in part, to write that piece of music. Brilliant. Two counters here. Drop some four, please. Let's have four. So not on the jackpot, but let's start shifting some of this sure. money, because there is a lot there. And we ideally, we'd like to clear the path for the jackpot, just to make sure it's a smooth transition. Three over the top shelf. One into the wind zone, and another one. Two for you there. Let's give you £100. Takes you up to £2,050. One more to go in. Drop some four, please, Ben. Let's have four. Over you go. Yes, oh please. Great. Come on, stay on it. Stay right on it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, oh wow. Just a touch <laughs> yeah. heavy, isn't it? But we've got that one lined up behind it, which is nice. And we'll take those three there as well, which is very nice too. £150 goes in, takes us up to £2,200. Great stuff. Right, back to the categories. Next on the list, we have food and drink, Harleen. Uh, can we do food and drink for three, please, Ben? We can. Food and drink for three, please. The pasta known as rigatoni traditionally comes in what shape? Spirals, bows or tubes? I remember this from a jingle that I used to watch on TV as a kid. Right. Um, so... It's not spirals and bows, it's tubes, Ben. Tubes? It is. So was it a jingle for an advert? I think it was called the San Francisco Treat or something. Right, and do you remember how it went? No, and I'm not going to embarrass my kids, so I'll try. <laughs> See what I'm trying to get you to do there, can't yeah. you? So we might not necessarily know this jingle, but hopefully, if you're right, it served you well all these years later. Should we go tubes? Please. We're going to line up tubes, please. Rigatoni, traditionally. Is it tube-shaped? Absolutely right. Farfalli bows, fusilli spirals. You know that, right? <laughs> I do, I do, yes. Yeah. Drop zone four. Please. Light it up. Nicely done. That does look nice. <laughs> Nicely done, Harleen. Over we go. We are getting right in amongst it now. Two counters drop. Let's give you £100. £2,300. Brilliant. Jackpot counter on the bottom shelf. Looks good, that, doesn't it? It looks really good. Two more to go in. Drop some four again, please, Ben. Four again. Is it going to take that little stack out in the middle as it's right on the verge of going? Come on, come on, come on. There, there we go. Could it spread for us there, Harley? Come on. Oh, wow. We'll take that, though. I will, yes. 
gladly. Ten more, so another £500, which sends the money soaring up to £2,800. One more to go in. Jobs and four again, please. Four again, please. Where's this one going to go? If it gets on the right, we are very close. Oh, oh wow. Just like that. Clean oh. as you like. Please be flat. Is it going to be flat? It is flat, Brilliant. yes. That jackpot count is going to get very, very close. Come on, machine. Nudge it forward for us. Go on, honey. <laughs> wow. Fifty pounds drops in. Brilliant. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds. Your jackpot count is on the tipping point, Harleen. It is. You're one good drop away. Let's go back to the categories. Yeah. We're only halfway. Long way to go. Nature, sport, and film. Uh, nature for three, please. Nature for three, it is. Mostly found in woodland, a tree creeper is what type of creature? Insect, bird or reptile? Have you ever heard of a tree creeper? I haven't. It doesn't sound like it would be a bird because birds don't creep, they fly. Do reptiles slither? Insects creep? <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. Well, watch it be something like a bird, just because it's different. Um, I'm just going to have to take a guess and say insect, please, Ben. Insect? Should we light it up? Please. We're going with insect. So you immediately ruled out birds. I did, but now I'm thinking, could it be? But you get insects in trees, don't you? They sort of yeah. crawl around the wood and That's stuff. That's what I was thinking. Is the answer insect? Is it a bird? bird. <laughs> yeah, I was going to watch you something off. Oh. They've got large feet, apparently, so they can hug the trees. Yeah. Okay. We all know now. We do. <laughs> right, let's go back to the categories. We have sport and film. How's your sport? Not good. OK, great. Not good. Um, so can I go for two for sport? You can, please? sport for two. Jodhpurs are usually worn in which sport? Rugby, equestrianism or football? I actually knew the answer, uh, so um, I'd like to say equestrianism, please, because you wear jodhpurs when you ride a horse. Equestrianism? Yep. We're going to go with the second answer, equestrianism, please. Jodhpurs, do you usually wear them when you're riding a horse? Absolutely, of course you do. Now then, sport question, one of your weakest subjects yeah. could be the one you got right to win £10,000. Drop some four? Drop some four. Fire it up, please. Oh, wrong not side. That not that one. one. Yeah. No, not that one. Oh, there oh, you go. Little look in drop zone three. Just hmm. reminding us that it's there. One more to go in. Drop some four, please, Ben. Light up four. Quite, not quite, not no. quite. It's too much to hope for, was it? You think it gets up? No. A little squeeze, take out a few in front. No, mm. okay. It's going to way. OK, we're going to the last category then. Let's have a look at it. Okay. We have film. It's going to have to be three, Ben. Film for three. In the 2020 romantic film drama Ammonite, which award-winning actress portrays the British geologist Charlotte Murchison? Brie Larson, Saoirse Ronan, or Emma Stone? Ammon Knight, have you seen it? No, I have not. Two counters did drop in while we're waiting. Let's stick that in. Takes to £2,950. Let's go back to the question. Do you know those actresses? Yeah, I do. Um, ben, it's going to have to be a guess, okay. because I've not seen the movie, but I'm going to go straight in the middle and go for Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse Ronan? Please. Light up Saoirse Ronan, please. Got that jackpot counter right on the tipping point, but we need another counter to get it in. Okay. This is right, we're gonna have three. Is the answer Sersha Ronan? Yes. Wow. Well done. Thank you. You found the right answer. I did. You've given yourself three chances here. Harley, get it in the right okay. place. <laughs> we are all off to Mauritius. <laughs> Jump zone four. Please. Light it up, please. Come on, Harleen. Could you get it? Is this the drop? Oh, wow. Ooh, it's not far away. <laughs> no, Is it going to stay not. on that black counter? Is it going to stay on it? Is it going to stay on it? Come on now, Harleen. Is this your £10,000 drop? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. That's awesome. That's unreal. That's amazing.
That, I'm, oh, my kid, oh. Wow, That's Arlene. Cool. That's really, really special. It is. Goodness me, what an amazing game you've played. It's and amazing. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Ten thousand pounds you've just got from our machine. I feel tearful. Feel? I feel tearful. I feel like wow. <laughs> it's emotional, right? <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. Battled our machine so well. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. What will that mean to you and the kids? A lot. Really, really thrilled for you. Not least because the three of you can go away now, have a lovely celebration, and have a beautiful holiday. Thank you. Harley snagged the double with her final counter in round one and then another 12 counters in round two. That saw her take a lead going into the head-to-head. -head. Her opponent just couldn't catch her and her place in the final was sealed. She landed the jackpot counter into a perfect position in drop zone four and it took just 11 counters to guide it all the way over the edge and into the win zone for an incredible £10,000. What a great day. It's been a marvellous event. All started because you made a mistake trying to apply for your daughter to go on The Voice Did and you end up on tipping point. <laughs> And you're going home with £10,000. Congratulations. That's amazing. That's Have amazing. an amazing trip to Mauritius. Please do Thank send you. us a postcard as well. 100%. Thank you. So there you go. Harleen's leaving with £10,000. She did it with style as well. That beautiful, shining jackpot counter in the wind zone. Nothing better than that. Join us next time in the fate of three more players. We'll hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.